And I move on to Vietnam. On February, in focus, Mekong research in Vietnam conducted a biannual study that shows locals have less work to do, yet more bills to pay. However, workers in Ho Chi Minh City have managed to take more side jobs to meet their needs. Here's the full coverage from C2D correspondent, Hu Tai. Worker, and especially the young generation, is trying to find a side hustle job as companies and factories cut down on resources and with the inflation skyrockets, according to the new survey. Selling goods via e-commerce site, trading stock and renting out properties are the top ways that people earn supplement for their salaries. Besides those who run their own business for extra income, many people take a side job in the evening and in the weekend as a freelancer. While some people may choose to side hustle on their own at home, others work remotely during weekdays and offline at cafes on the weekends. So my name is Billy. I am a student at Bokmo University. I just came back from Vietnam. And so I work at the company at 8 to 5 p.m. and then at night. So I usually take a break and then I work from 10 into 2 a.m. That's my side hustle. I do part-time motion graphic designer at Fiverr um, for 25 pounds up to 300 pounds and I also work as a designer for other projects that I'm currently managed for freelance. I think it's quite hard to balance uh, all of the work-life balance because, I, because we have to work more and for for this specific time, like I don't have like enough time to see my families and my friends. The reason I think that we need two jobs because um, because the the house rate currently at eight mil to fifteen mil, but currently my full time job is around twelve mil. So I need to have like around two two side jobs so that could support all of my rent, utilities, and stuff like that. It is says that the locals have less work to do, but yet more bills to pay. Inflation used to be at the bottom, but quickly became the number one concern on the list. According to the study from InFocus, 60% of people said that they are worried more about the price surge than unemployment or the environment. A survey is conducted by InFocus Mekong Research, a market research company in Ho Chi Minh City. In Focus Mekong shows that moon lightning has long been popular in the Southeast Asian manufacturing hub. But the share of people relying on extra income sources rose from 20% in July 2022 to 34% in January 2023. The current annual inflation was 5% in January 2023. Pitch Solutions, another research agency, says that prices in food prices and housing costs are affecting retail spending. Nói chung ra đó thì cái thịt thà đấy thì giờ chưa bớm ra dịch tới giờ đó thì nó vẫn lên giá nhưng mà quán bán thì không có lên giá mà giữ nguyên giá để bán tết còn không lên nhưng mà cái nguồn nguyên liệu thịt đồ ở ngoài nhập vô vẫn lên giá là dưa leo được tăng giá có tăng hết á rồi cà rốt dưa leo hay bất cải đồ lên giá hết thịt thà lên nhưng mà quán thì không có bán không có lên được mình lên quá khách ta đâu có dám ăn sau mùa dịch thì nói chung ra thì nó lên giá cao nhưng mà mình bán thì mình vẫn giữ giá đó để bị cái dịch rồi ta đâu có tiền đâu ta mình lên giá cho ta ăn tiền đâu người ta ăn với a full time job and a side hustle it is especially hard for young workers to find work life balance we all hope that the economy will stabilize soon so it can save us from all these headaches with that see today Ho Chi Minh City Vietnam So it's predicted that uh, Southeast Asia is going to become the golden economy hub when it comes to 2023. Um, as a lot of analysts have said that this year inflation will transition from the developed countries who are um, experiencing a lot of turmoil at this moment to developing countries, which predominantly is, um, you know, here in Southeast Asia, we're predominantly still developing countries. Now, according to ACB securities analysts say that there will not be a surge in inflation, in Vietnam at least, in the first half of this year, and they forecast that the government will succeed controlling inflation within the 3 to 4.5 range because the government in Vietnam are trying to control it as best as they can to keep inflation below 4.5%. Now, according to them, it's actually already peaked 
because the consumer demand has finally lowered, which means this is about the maximum inflation, as mentioned before, before we see people starting to have second or third jobs to be able mm -hmm. to afford the higher, uh, the higher prices of commodities and of daily, um, you know, uh, daily um, commodities. A weakened, demand, a weakened demand is one of the reasons for the lower forecast as well. And the decline in stocks, bonds and property prices also drag down consumption as well. So it's very interesting to be in times like now to see how and which countries get to control the inflation rate as best as possible. Yeah, and uh, Vietnam is only ranked 12th in labor force in the, in the, in the world. Yeah. And you know where Indonesia stands, number four. We're number four in the world with uh, Indonesia, it's 138 million uh, people working where Vietnam mm -hmm. is only about 56 million. So again, the Southeast Asian countries or, or nations, we're going to be uh, looked at in the next maybe uh, five to ten years and then see if the economy is going to get picked up here.